Hey guys, I have had some questions recently on how to use the print then cut function on Cricut for my place cards, specifically this one here or any of the ones that have this pop-up graphic here. So the first time I was asked, I was like, you just print and cut, why, why are you asking me this? So um, I thought I'll just make a quick video showing you how to use print and cut. And so excuse my, <laughs> this is really messy. I use really bad paper and I didn't have the right settings. So this cut really messy, but let's ignore that point. So it did everything perfect except for the name. It cut it or it printed it thicker and then it cut out the name and I couldn't figure out why is it cutting out the name. And then I realized that you have to flatten the name and your card together. The only problem with this design is that then this line for cutting here and the score line, it wanted to print it, which we don't want that. So I found a workaround to get it to work and I'll share that with you next. Um, I really, I highly recommend using just your pen tool to do this. Um, the only downfall with the pen tool is that you can't use the fonts that you already have on your computer, your system fonts. You have to buy one through Cricut, but they are only a couple of dollars and it really does save you time. And I'll put a link up here to my video on how to use the pen tool. But if you really wanna do the print, then cut, then um, let's just jump into design space and I'll show you how to do it. So open design space and upload your file. I already have mine here and click the down arrow just so that you can see all of your layers and you can go ahead and turn that top one to score like you normally would and then go ahead and click text to add your name and you know you can change it to whatever font you want and size just place it where you would want it on your card and then you will add a shape and we'll choose the square. And so make sure that it's just bigger, a little bit bigger than your um, place card. And we'll change the color of it to white because we don't actually want it to print. And right click, send backward, and then select that rectangle with your name. And in the bottom right hand corner, select flatten. This will join them together as like a, a print and that's what it will print. And then we'll select the place card and its score line and attach them and move it to the bottom. I'm not sure if it matters what order, but make sure to attach both all of those files as well before you hit make. And then you'll print from there. And then once you have your print, you'll put it on your um, mat just like you normally would. And your machine you know, reads those um, bars to know exactly where to cut and then this is a strong mat so it's really sticking um, so then there you have it and that's how you can print and cut it does kind of stink that you have that extra cut that little frame or whatever but and this is the easiest way that I found to do it so I hope that helps, and if you have a better way of doing this, you know a better hack, please let me know. I would really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day.